Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Johnny Maverick, and we're back with Radiator uh, for one final video. Um, I know I said I finished it, um, I believe I've uploaded it, or I've had a bit of a lapse, um, lots of dissertation work to do. Um, so, not much time for video making, or I haven't really done much work either to be completely honest with you, um, I had a bit of a spot of flu. Um, but no matter, I'm going to make this video. And um, what happened is I missed two things when playing through Radiator 2. One of them I knew about beforehand and really should have pointed out, and I apologise for not doing so. And the other one I had no idea about. Um, and both of these were brought to my attention by uh, Zombie66. Zombie. I'm not entirely sure how you say it, it's spelled Zombie. Um, so thank you very much to him because uh, he's prompted this video. So, the first thing is, there's another way to play this game, where you don't fulfill the gameplay challenge. It's perfectly valid, and um, Robert Yang included it for that reason. It works with the narrative very well. I've never done it myself, um, not on purpose at any rate, because I like the gameplay challenge. I find it extremely stimulating, it's frustrating as hell, but I feel great every time I beat it and have done ever since the first time I played this game. So I've never done it this way, but I know that I knew that you could beforehand, so I really should have said something. Um, and we're going to have to go through this crap again. I will uh, okay, cut forward please. at this point. Now your so, so a transition yes, to the next bit coming up now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, short transition there. I forgot that we have to go for the intro, so I didn't think that you needed to watch that again. If you haven't watched the previous videos, then do so if you want to see that intro. Um, okay, so there's another way to play this game. It's perfectly valid, and it involves not having to stack the boxes. So hopefully you can get through this in one video, so it shouldn't take too long. Now, I know I kept saying I was dying when I dropped the boxes. The reality is you're not dying. The game just carries on. Um, what I should have said is I'm failing, according to the rules I put on myself, which was to repress the memories by stacking them. But it's perfectly valid to drop the boxes and release, if you want, the memories into the discussion. So if we just do that. Right, I did not know that it was like this. I've never done this before. Okay, cool. So, I didn't know that when you drop the boxes you actually get to walk through them. I thought that it literally just uh, played a scene from the montage. But anyway, let's uh, drop this next one. Okay, so we're in the kitchen. Also a lot of fun. Damn. I mean, if you ignore something, it's not just gonna go away. It's a very good point. Okay, so I didn't I didn't know it worked exactly like this. I didn't know that when you dropped the boxes you actually got rewarded for it in the story. I thought it literally just played that scene and then, you know, she'd say the kind of stuff she usually says when you go for a new box, because before all I'd ever done is saved. If I dropped the box, I immediately reloaded because I was like, "Oh, well, I messed that up." So well, I did know you could do this. I didn't know it worked in exactly this way. Well, that's not very nice. I, I take great offence to that. Okay. It's also a lot quicker when you play this way. 
Boom. Ooh, I'm in the boat. Oh, damn. That looks pretty sinister. Oh, God. There's water everywhere. And the game's freezing. Okay, and we're back because my computer's decided to stop freezing again. Um, I probably should have restarted it because it's been on for about three days. <laughs> Not great for making videos. So we have three boxes left. Right. Okay, we're in some kind of park. Oh, my movement's extremely slow. Yep. Go on, give me a box. Boom. That's really satisfying. I never loved you. Uh, no. Um, that would spoil it. Okay. Next box. No, oh, for bloody hell, I can't even do that right. Okay. Yeah. Big bang. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just got shot! Okay, so... I think this is a graveyard. Yeah, it is. That, that is true. In fact, this part of my dissertation as well. Okay. Is this the last box? I think this might be the last box. Huh! Bang! Okay, it's a dead pigeon. Is anyone... Gee, that, that's disgusting. Okay, so this we have seen before, this montage. Um, but there's one more thing that I haven't shown you. This I did not know about. I didn't know you could walk through the scenes when you drop the boxes either. So, um... Again, thank you very much, Zombie66. Your input has opened my eyes to things that I was not aware of. Um, well, it's also nice to have the scenes, I mean, they're not really put into context, but a bit more context than they were in um, before, where you just saw this montage, because this is a bit... You know, that, that boat doesn't tell you much, it's just a boat. Whereas put into context, you know that it's a boat and your things are floating around and your partner's lying there. Oh, so maybe repression is better. Depression is not necessarily a bad thing, folks. Maybe it's a good thing. Okay, this is the thing that I was not aware of. So what I've always done here is I thought that the narrative mechanic was oh, drop the bloody box, we and stop freezing. Is it going to drop the box? Oh, it doesn't drop the box. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. 
Alright, so when you throw the boxes away, it doesn't not drop the final box. That is... Oh, or does it? Here it comes. Just a little bit of delay on it. Right. I have always picked up this box. I thought that this was part of your story. So you get the new box, you look around the room and go, oh, well, there's no nine. So I always thought, oh, you're off down the corridor walking to your next job. Um, but maybe not. Because, according to Zombie 66, if I do this... I don't know, maybe it is. So there's the boat and the body. Oh wow. I don't think I want to walk out there just yet. Have a look at everything. Wow. I think I've seen everything. And there you go! So that's... <laughs> I'm sure it will. Capitalism wins again. Capitalism, rather. Um, okay, so there you go. There is now a complete playthrough of Radiator 2 Handle Care. And my alarm's gone off so I can't chat, which is good for you because I'll shut up and just say goodbye. Whereas I usually go on for about five minutes. Um, but yeah, I've never seen that before. That was really awesome. Thank you very much to Zombie66 um, for bringing that to my notice. Um, even the things I thought I knew about, it turned out I didn't. So I'm really glad that um, I've done this and played through them and uh, seen a bit of this game that I, I like a lot. But um, it turns out I didn't actually know that much about it, which I'm kind of embarrassed about. Um, but no matter. Um, I hope you've enjoyed these videos. I definitely have, especially after this one. And uh, I'll see you soon. Um, Blind Monk Society up next, which should be interesting because that's audio only, so I don't know how it's going to work with me nattering all the time. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll come to that path when we come to it. So thank you very much for watching, folks. I've been Johnny Maverick. You have been um, a blessing um, and perhaps even a curse, some would say. But anyway, until next time, goodbye.